It is time for the Texas Southwest Second Ministers and Workers Conference. Get ready to join us Tuesday, March 21st through Saturday, March 25th in San Antonio, Texas at Praise Cathedral Church of God in Christ, located at 5895 Benz Engelman Road. Join Jurisdictional Prelate, Bishop Shelton C. Rhodes, and Supervisor of Women, Mother Yolander Ford, for a week of prayer, praise, worship, and word. Conference speakers include Superintendent Robert Davis, Administrative Assistant F. O. Patterson, Administrative Assistant Michael Johnson, Texas Northeast Second First Administrative Assistant Melton R. Timmons, and Bishop Michael B. Golden, Jr., Jurisdictional Prelate of Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction of Virginia. The conference schedule begins with Musical Night on Tuesday, March 21st at 7.30 p.m. Prayer, breakfast, conference training, lunch, and much more will be held on Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, March 24th beginning at 9.30 a.m. is Women's Day with Mother Ford. You do not want to miss official day on Saturday, March 25th, beginning with Sunday school at 8 a.m., followed by the gospel message from our leader and prelate, Bishop Shelton C. Rhodes, at 10 a.m. All evening services begin promptly at 7.30. Our theme is Mission Made Possible, coming from Zechariah 4 and 6. Remember, all roads lead to Praise Cathedral Church of God in Christ in San Antonio, Texas, March 21st through 25th, for our The Texas Southwest Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdictions, Ministers and Workers Conference. We will see you there.
I didn't mean to get up here and do all this. But when I stop and think about the goodness of the Lord and all that he has done for me, Understand how been God has been good to me. I raised nine boys on one salary. My wife stayed at home because God told her to be at the house. Well, I disagree with that. But I had to respect that mother for it. 
We had our waves. When I mean waves, we had our ups and our downs. You see my glory, but you don't know my story. Never had to go to the cemetery. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that my kids were angels because they wasn't. Some of them got in trouble. But I thank my God to thee that all of them are in church. I want you all to understand and to know. My oldest son told me the other day, he said, Dad, he said, I appreciate you what you've done. He said, now I begin to understand what you went through. Because he has a family of his own now. But he told me like this, right? he said, Dad, I love you. I understand what you was doing, and I appreciate you what you was doing. You all, that made me feel good. I thank God for his goodness and mercy. Father, I need you. Always. Father, I love you. If I'm up here, I know my superintendent, Patterson, he said, he said, this is the only place that you can come in and act silly and want nobody to think that you're crazy. I'm going to do this again. He said, this is the only place that you can come and act. People won't think that you're crazy. Why? Because you're giving God the praise. You're giving God. When I stop and think about the goodness of God and all this front. Amen. We're gonna go ahead and get the Okay. Amen. Will we all stand, please? And thank God for our bishop and superintendent. Patterson and Superintendent Davis coming in. Amen. So I'm not ashamed to give God some praise and some glory. And I thank God again for you. his mercy and his goodness. I wasn't, a, I wasn't raised in the church of God Christ. I was a bat mess. What's the bat mess? I was a, my mom was Baptist, my dad was a Methodist. <laughs> bat mess. But when I came into this church here, the grand old church of God in Christ, when they said they were, what's that? Hey, uh -huh. what's that? What's that? What's that? Pentecostal. Grand old church of God in Christ. The excitement about God and what God has done for you. Amen. I'm, 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 I'm shutting down. I'm shutting down, y'all. But I thank God again for his goodness and his mercy. If y'all get tired of me saying I'm sorry, but I thank God for what he brought me from to where I'm, where he trying to get me to go to. So you got to come from somewhere to get to where God's trying to lead you to go. Amen. We're going to get ready to get started here. From the Old Testament, 
Uh, it's going to be from. Uh, <clears throat> Invitation is coming from uh, the elder Noble Cooper uh, from the Inspirational Church of God Christ right here in San Antonio, Texas. Amen. Well, praise God. Praise God. I believe someone was on the wake up list this morning. Let me say that again. I believe some of y'all was on the wake up list. Yes because you have the spirit of praise already within you thank God for pastor he went on and gave us a sermon amen but praise God I'm not going to preach I'm going to go ahead and do what I'm supposed to do gracious God we thank you today we thank you for your many blessings and most of all, we thank you for putting us on that wake-up list on today. Hallelujah. And we ask, Father God, that you empower this conference yes, this week. Yes, yes. We ask you that you empower the bishop, empower the, the mother, state mother. Lord, you are so able and capable of doing any and everything. Yes. And we just thank you for just thank keeping you, us. Jesus. You didn't have to, but you did anyway. And Father God, we ask that you would just take over this conference, that you would be the honor guest in this household. In Jesus' name, thank God, and amen. 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 Now we come up to the Old Testament. It's coming from uh, Elder John Johnson here at Praise Cathedral. The Old Testament scripture we read from Psalms 25, verses 1 through 5. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on them be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me my paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach now. For thou art the gospel of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. 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 Now an Old Testament coming from... Uh, Excuse me, y'all. Why am I at? <laughs> New Testament. Let me get my glasses checked here. Uh, coming from Minister Nate Nathaniel Martin from the Saints Memorial, Bibbsville, Texas. Amen. Uh, reading from 1 John 2 1 through 2. My little children, these things I write unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the pro propitiation, I'm sorry, propitiation for our sins. And not for our, our, ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Now we have to the traditional our director is Sister Porter. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So we're in the house of the Lord on tonight. You might as well get ready to give God some praise, give him some glory, lift him up and magnify him. There is none like him in all the earth. So you might as well come on, give God what is due to him on tonight. We came all the way to San Antonio to give God some praise. I don't know about you, but I came to lift him up. I came to magnify him. I came to glorify him. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, 
the everlasting door for the King of Glory shall come in. Who is this King of Glory? Lord God, strong and mighty. Lord God, mighty in battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I came to give God some glory. I don't know about you. I didn't come all the way down here to be quiet. I came to give God some praise. So the music department is coming to let you know, we know who God is. We know the God that we serve. He can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. So we're coming in with the musical on tonight. We have a young man from the LaGrange district that is going to come and minister to us. I went to that district meeting and he rocked the flock, y'all. So come on, let's give a good God bless you to Mr. Philip Martin. Hi everybody, I'm so blessed to be here, so honored that Ms. Porter, Sister Porter asked me to come. I'm not really a talker, so I'm going to just get right to it, and I'm going to sing this little melody. I come to the garden alone. While the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear is the sound of the Son of Man disclosing. joy we share as we tarry there. None other has ever known. Oh, he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells joy we share as we tarry there. None other has ever known. So I can declare this. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, oh how I love Jesus. saying that oh how I love oh how I love Jesus 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 oh how I love Jesus oh See you. 
so sweet, yes she is. Oh, how I love Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, how I Oh, yeah. Because he first loved me. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love Jesus. Bless his name. We thank Brother Philip for such an anointing on tonight. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to highlight one of our districts in Texas Southwest 2nd. We're going to ask the historical district if they will come at this time. Historical district choir. Come on, let's give him a hand, clap our praise.
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank the historical district for that awesome selection. You're a great guy. And for our final um, part in our musical on tonight, we have Psalmist Shea Porter that is coming to minister on tonight. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, my God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I just wanted to know if I had at least two or three that came to magnify and uplift the name of Jesus on tonight. Because truly, he is worthy of the glory. He is worthy of the honor. He is worthy to be lifted up. He is worthy to be magnified. Oh, come on. I thought I had somebody here that knew how great and how mighty the Lord is. Hallelujah. God, we exalt you on tonight. Come on. Can we take a moment just to speak well of our Father? Can we take a moment just to speak well how wonderful he is? Father, you are exalted. God, we lift you up. We came to honor you. We came to magnify you. We bless your name, Jesus. You're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I came to magnify him on tonight, and we want y'all to help us out, all right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, right where you are, you can put your hands together like this. All over the room. Hey! Hallelujah! You're wonderful, Jesus. Yeah! Come on, very simple. I want you just to repeat after me, okay? I will sing praises unto my king, yeah. He is creator of everything. Creator of everything. I will exalt him, his name adore, yeah. I will exalt him, his name adore, yeah. Honor and reverence forevermore. We ascribe glory and honor and wisdom and strength to our God, to our God. Come on, I don't see you clapping. Yeah. Praise I will offer to glorify thee. Praise I will offer to glorify thee. And I'll declare that thy name is holy. Oh, 
to worship your king. We worship you, Jesus.
after the ministry and giving uh, the Texas Southwest second to addiction. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Hey Amen. We up to the Ministry of Giving of the Texas Southwest Second Judicial Financial Committee. Soon after that, we're going to have our jurisdictional observation coming from Missionary Gloria Barnes or the Women's Department of Public Relations Chairperson. Amen. Come in at order. Pastor Martin, the man do an outstanding job. Come on, look at somebody and tell them this is our first night. This is our first night. First night. Y'all need to be excited when you say that now. Come on, tell them this is our first night. Amen. Texas Southwest Second Jurisdiction. Amen. Our Ministers and Workers Conference. Thank you, God. And certainly we honor our jurisdiction of Prillette. Amen. The Bishop Shelton C. Rhodes. Come on, will you give him a hand? Will you give him a hand as you're standing? Will you give him a good hand? Oh, yeah. This is our prelate, amen. The Bishop Shelton C. Rhodes. Thank you, God. Amen. Certainly we honor him. We thank God, amen. Amen for him. Thank God, amen, for First Lady Deborah Rhodes, amen, the First Lady of our jurisdiction. We thank God, amen, for our supervisor of women, amen, Mother Yolanda Ford, God bless you. Amen. First, amen, assistant, amen, missionary Deborah Taylor, district missionary Deborah Taylor, amen. The second, amen, district missionary Hazel Williams, amen, thank God for her. And we're grateful tonight, amen, for our administrative assistants, amen, amen, Superintendent Michael Johnson, amen. Superintendent F.O. Patterson, amen, God bless you. And all of our executive committee, all of our Ames committee, amen, will you just give them a good hand on tonight? Thanking God for all of our superintendents, amen. They're in place and amen, we believe this, we believe the way you start something, it kind of dictates the way you end. And so we're gonna set a stage tonight we're coming into the house of God. We put prayer behind this. We've been fasting behind this. And how many know the Lord is just set to bless us? Thank you, God. I believe he's going to do something. Come on, somebody just said tonight, tonight. I believe it's going to happen tonight. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Well, it's happening right now. Amen. You just might not see it, but it's happening right now. Amen. Certainly we thank God. Thank God for all of his many blessings. Amen. We thank God for each of you that have come to, amen, open up this great Ministers and Workers Conference. We're looking for God to do great things in this conference, and we certainly bless him for this night, for our musical on this evening. But we're getting ready to give, getting ready to give on this evening, and we're just thanking God that he's allowed us to be able to come and to give. Tell your neighbor, what a privilege, what a privilege. It's a privilege to be able to give. Yes, it is, because the more I give, the more he gives unto me. Amen. He's helping me to invest in my future, even in my presence, and we thank God, amen, for that. We have several ways if you want to give on tonight as you give. If you want to give by Cash App, you can go to dollar sign TSW2. TSW second OPS. The cash app again is dollar sign TSW second OPS. And if you want to give by Giblify, it's Texas Southwest Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. If you're writing a check tonight, you can make your checks payable to Texas Southwest Second Jurisdiction. Amen. Amen. We want you to be guilty of sharing. We thank God for each of you. Many of you have already sent your offer in for the whole week and already given. If you hear, amen, and you've given for the whole week, will you just stand? You've given for the entire week. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate these men. Amen. They have sent their offering in to make sure that this conference will be a success. If you have not given, amen, 
We know that you desire to give. We're asking every elder tonight for $20, every pastor for $35, and our superintendents for $50. Amen. So if you have not given, if you'll make your way, amen, toward the table here, I want to give you an opportunity to be able to share. Amen. Our bishop is leading off with $100 on tonight. Amen. Amen. Thank God for him. It is time for the Texas Southwest Second Ministers and Workers Conference. Get ready to join us Tuesday, March 21st through Saturday, March 25th in San Antonio, Texas at Praise Cathedral Church of God in Christ, located at 5895 Benz Engelman Road. Join Jurisdictional Prelate, Bishop Shelton C. Rhodes, and Supervisor of Women, Mother Yolander Ford, for a week of prayer, praise, worship, and word. Conference speakers include Superintendent Robert Davis, Administrative Assistant F. O. Patterson, Administrative Assistant Michael Johnson, Texas Northeast Second First Administrative Assistant Melton R. Timmons, and Bishop Michael B. Golden, Jr., Jurisdictional Prelate of Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction of Virginia. The conference schedule begins with Musical Night on Tuesday, March 21st at 7.30 p.m. Prayer, breakfast, conference training, lunch, and much more will be held on Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, March 24th beginning at 9.30 a.m. is Women's Day with Mother Ford. You do not want to miss official day on Saturday, March 25th, beginning with Sunday School at 8 a.m., followed by the Gospel Message from our leader and prelate, Bishop Shelton C. Rhodes, at 10 a.m. All evening services begin promptly at 7.30. Our theme is Mission Made Possible, coming from Zechariah 4 and 6. Remember, all roads lead to Praise Cathedral Church of God in Christ in San Antonio, Texas, March 21st through 25th, for our The Texas Southwest Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdictions, Ministers and Workers Conference. We will see you there. Thank you.
Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Isn't it good to be here? Hallelujah. For our very first Ministers and Workers Conference for Texas Southwest Second. Praise God. Under the leadership of our own Bishop, Bishop Shelton Rose. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's just good to be here, saints. Hallelujah. We praise God. The house has been addressed, so I'm just going to do my task that I have been assigned to do on tonight. But I had to say hallelujah to the Lord for bringing us over the dangerous highways. All right, on tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is Wednesday morning. Praise the Lord. Prayer will begin at 7 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Morning glory at 8 a.m. Be a continental breakfast at 8.55. Then there will be conference training on tomorrow beginning at 9 o'clock, 9.05. Then AIM training at 11 o'clock a.m. And then there will be a complimentary lunch. Now tomorrow night, praise the Lord, our speaker will be, will be one of our own administrative assistants, none other than Superintendent Michael Johnson. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let us continue to be prayerful for the service, the anointing of the Lord to come in. I will share some additional observations at this time. The Texas Southwest Second Scholarship Committee is currently accepting applications for Texas Southwest Second Jurisdiction Scholarship Program for 2023. All scholarship application packets must be received by the scholarship committee no later than April 28th. The Texas Southwest Scholarship application form is pertinent information that can be assessed at www.inspirationalchurch.org. That's one word, inspirationalchurch.org. Please see uh, Sister Ula or Eula Maynard, and we have a phone number for her or Missionary Jennifer Cooper. Praise the Lord. Get those scholarship applications in. Meet the deadline. Registration is now open for Power for Living, the Sunday School Rally. Praise God. Looking for all Sunday School participants. Scheduled for April 29, 2023, 11 o'clock a.m. at the Greater Zion Temple Church of God in Christ. Registration is open. You can pick up your registration. $20 for adults, only $10 for uh, the children, 2 to 18. And then on site registration is $25. The Women's International Convention this year will convene in Orlando, Florida. Praise God. May 29th through June the 2nd. Praise the Lord, and there are many. There's a pure mirror card, there's a red card, and there's a white card. Uh, look at that information. You can register online now. Praise the Lord. They have gone paperless. Now, if you are one that loves to go to the musical, the musical is on Monday night of the Women's International Convention. Guess what? We have just received a limited amount of tickets. So if you're one that loves to go to the musical, the musical tickets are $20. Don't miss it. I'm the one holding the tickets. And again, it's a limited amount of tickets. So please don't leave the conference without your musical ticket. The Praise Cathedral Church of God in Christ on April the 8th, right here on this location, Give blood for patients like Brianna. Praise the Lord. It is a blood drive right here. That's on April the 8th, 9 o'clock until 2 o'clock, right here at Praise Cathedral. Let's govern ourselves according to the observations. May God continue to bless you, is our prayer. God bless you. One final observation. If you notice, there are QR codes all around the building as you come in. 
if you have not taken your phone and what we've done, we've taken the program and we've placed it where it can be placed on your device. Yes, sir. Is that all right? Awesome. We want to take in, we're moving into the new, a new phase in life. Yeah. Technology is, is here. We don't want to be caught behind. And so I've asked the bishop to allow us to go forward and doing the programs and QR codes, and you'll start seeing a lot more of the things going on with the QR codes. So if you can, they're on the screens, in the hallway, they're in the usher's hands, they're up on the screens, which you notice right there. Please, just scan your phone. If you don't know how to do it, we'll be glad to get someone to assist you. Thank you very much. I am do thank God again for our bishop allowing me to be here in our committee, being here, and, and, I, and I was thinking that it's always good to be first. What I mean by that? This is history tonight. So I do thank God for my bishop, Bishop Rose, and the program committee for allowing me to make history tonight. Amen. So on that, I'm going to turn it over to our uh, uh, Superintendent Johnson, who's going to present our bishop. I do thank God. Y'all pray for me. Right. Thank you, Pastor Martin. Let's give Pastor Martin a hand. Give him a hand praise on tonight. You did a great job on tonight. Tonight, I've been given the opportunity to present our leader on tonight. And I want to thank God for Bishop Rose. He is a great leader, a great example of leadership. John Maxwell said this about leaders. He said, a leader is one who knows the way. A leader that goes the way and a leader that shows the way. Yes. And beloved, we have all three all right. in Bishop Rose. Yes. He's going the way. Yes. And he is showing us the way, yes, sir. how to be leaders. I want you to stand with me and receive now the prelay of Texas Southwest. Second to none, ecclesiastical jurisdiction, the Bishop Shelton Craig Rose. Clap your hands and receive him with the words of amen. God bless you. Come on. Put those hands together all over the house. Put those hands together all over the house, all over the house. Come on, let's put them together for Jesus. Glory to God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. What a blessing, what a privilege, what an honor. Amen. We certainly give honor to God on tonight. Amen. Thanking God for, amen, these wonderful, these great administrative assistants. Amen. Patterson and Johnson. Let's thank God for these great men of God. Amen to all of our wonderful superintendents of the Texas Southwest Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Thanking God for our elders, pastors and elders, council chairman, been with us tonight, Superintendent Joseph Johnson. Praise God, our ordination board chairman, amen, Superintendent Fred Irvin. Thank God for these great men. All the wonderful cabinet that is here that makes up Texas Southwest Second. Amen. Let's thank God for our program chair with these programs that we have. Amen. Elder Curtis Lyles. I want to thank God for him. These pastors and elders. Our mother, Mother Yolanda Ford. Mother Yolanda Ford. Amen. Second to none. I want to thank God for her, amen, her cabinet on tonight. Amen. First lady of this great jurisdiction, Sister Deborah Ann Rose. Amen. Thank God for Deborah Ann. 
Amen. The assistance to Mother, Amen. Assistant Supervisor, Mother Deborah Taylor, Amen. Assistant Supervisor, Amen. Missionary Hazel Williams, and all these great district missionaries that are here. Administrative assistant wives, Amen. Johnson and Patterson. Want to thank God for them. Amen. Each and every one of you in your respective places, Amen, that have made your way, Amen, to 5895 Ben Zingerman Road, San Antonio, Texas, here at Praise Cathedral. I want to thank God for blessing you over the highways, amen, to see you near and far across this great jurisdiction. Houston is in the house. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Temple, Waco, Austin, all throughout this great jurisdiction. It's a blessing. It's a privilege. It's an honor, amen, to serve you, amen, in this capacity on tonight. I want to thank God, bless you over the highways. Amen. We had a little bit of, uh, we had a little bit of, um, uh, uh, a little bit of uh, rain on today, amen, but I want to thank God for the liquid sunshine. Come on, somebody. Liquid sunshine that only God can give because of his favor to us. Let's give it up for Missionary Porter, for Deaconess Porter on tonight. And this music department have done a wonderful job. And to God be the glory. Praise God is part of the Ames Department, but they've done such a wonderful job under the leadership of Superintendent, amen, Mosley Hobson, our AIM chairman, auxiliaries in ministry uh, chairman. And something I saw that was been uh, kind of unusual. Uh, for many years, I hadn't seen this Mother Ross, amen, that was to see this AIM team moving around the jurisdiction. About every district that I went to, amen, during our winter budget conferences and all that, there was some type of representation from our auxiliaries in ministry team and SMM, our chairman, Elder Derek Connor, I want to thank God for him over here. But to see them out there and, and, uh, and Sister Porter and those that were undergirding her in the music department to every district that I was they were there come on let's give God praise for these servant leaders servant leaders I'd like to say this before we go further about our supervisor of women pray God I want to thank God for her coming on over to Texas Southwest second once again come on she could have We've had some great ones in that former uh, jurisdiction called Texas Southwest. That was some 66 or 67 good, great years. And I was just about 30 plus years part of that. But for Mother Ford, Mother Yolanda Ford, to have come over with us in the Texas Southwest second, let's thank God again for our supervisor of women. Mother Yolanda Ford. Tonight, 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 amen, no exception. We're looking for a wonderful time all week long, but every everything has to have a great beginning. And tonight, I want to thank God. We started out on a high note, pray God. Thank God for a high note. And to, and to our speakers on tonight, amen, we have two great uh, superintendents, amen, administrative assistant and superintendent, amen. Coming first will be the superintendent Robert Davis, amen. Robert Davis, S.C. Iglehart, District Superintendent and our Finance Chairman for Texas Southwest 2nd. Superintendent Davis was born in uh, Leroy, Alabama, amen, the sixth son of, uh, six, uh, of, of six children is what it was. And I want to thank God for him, married to, amen, Missionary Alice Davis, amen, 45 plus years. I want to thank God for that on tonight. And to this union, uh, amen, we have four children. Amen. want to thank God for them. They're here tonight for the most part. want to thank God for this great man of God. It's Bishop Iglehart gave him his first pastoral appointment, amen, here in Texas Southwest, amen. He had been in the former, in the Texas Southeast, second, under the bishop, late Bishop A. Liddell Thomas for some time. God blessed him to come over in 1992, amen, to church, amen, to uh, Church of God in Christ, number one, Austin, Texas, and I think you're a part of us on tonight. I want to thank God. In 2010, amen, he came, became a member of the Texas South. Southwest ecclesiastical jurisdiction under the leadership of the late Bishop S. E. Iglot. While I'm there, let's thank God for our former leaders. Amen. Bishop T. D. Bishop S. E. Iglehart. 
In January 2014, Bishop Aguilar appointed him, amen, uh, Superintendent Ellis, Superintendent Robert Davis, amen, District Superintendent of the S.E. Aguilar District. In 2015, he was appointed to the Office of Jurisdictional Finance Chairman. I mean, he's been a great resource. He's been a great man of God, a great, steadfast, loyal, a pastor superintendent in this great jurisdiction to have come over in Texas Southwest Second with us. He'll be followed by, amen, Administrative Assistant, amen, Fred F.O. Patterson. Let's give it up for him. <laughs> All right. Sound like Austin and Austin and Austin's in the house tonight. Praise God. And thank God for this servant leader. Amen. He's dedicated to the practical and spiritual development of men, women, and youth. Amen. His passion for worship and the Word of God has created a ministry, amen, that's transformational in its nature. Amen. We thank God for Superintendent Patterson in 2004. Amen. He was, he was appointed pastor of the Morning Glory. Church of God in Christ, Austin, Texas. Thanking God for that. Amen. Down through time, amen, he's worked very faithfully, if you will, in the LaGrange District. Amen. Is LaGrange District in the house on tonight? He followed such great superintendents as the late, amen, Superintendent Charlie Phillips, amen, the Superintendent Elroy Darden that's still part of us on tonight, amen. Down through time, we've seen his faithfulness with us. Superintendent Patterson's crown of achievement thus far is marrying his beautiful wife, as he stated here, 30 years plus, amen, elect lady missionary Lisa Patterson. And to God be the glory. They're the proud parents of one son, Frederick O'Neill Patterson, Jr. Amen. After the choir has rendered this last selection, I want us to rest on our feet and receive these great men in the order presented. God bless you. Amen. Pray for the choir as we come with our final selection on tonight. I thank you, Lord, under the leadership of Deacon Demario Lewis and on lead, our Vice President, Missionary Rosemary Brent.
tender mercy God how great you are you're marvelous in our sight now tonight Lord let us down into the secret of your word your word be manifested in the lives of your people everywhere all in the name of Jesus we pray tonight thank God amen and amen you may be seated in the presence of the Lord that's your seat but all right, I'm going to get there. House has been addressed, but to my beloved bishop and administrative assistants, our state mother, to all of the people of the Lord on the night, I'm glad I'm the first. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah, so history will be recorded that I was the first. Now, don't stone me, brothers. <laughs> Listen, I got to move quickly. I got a preacher following me. Okay, so I need to, y'all gonna let me be myself? Okay, let me be myself, okay. All right, I'm gonna tell you a t quick testimony. I hope that they get my wife the mic. They got the mic, sweetie. All right, would you go to Luke chapter seven? I'm gonna be old school on y'all tonight. We're gonna do a little reading. So get your devices and read along. But while you're turning to it, I have a young man sitting before you. This young man, read right at a year ago, had went and got his first apartment and had been in it two weeks and somebody kicked his door in, shot him five times. His mother considered herself my daughter. She really did not, but I claim her and she claims me. And she called me and I went to the hospital and they wouldn't let me in the room. So I prayed in the hallway with her. And she says to me, Dad, I don't know. I said, well, we just pray and believe the Lord. So she tells me out of the next mouth that uh, she needed a truck to move his things out of his apartment because the next day or two, he would have to pay another month's rent. So I tells her to meet me at church on Sunday morning. And she did. And y'all, he don't even know this part, but she came to me and she says, Dad, my son is not breathing on his own. He's bleeding on the inside. And she really didn't know. And I, the devil spoke to me and said, tell her, we're just prepared to bury him. But I didn't say what the devil said. Yeah. Yeah. I just said, we're going to pray. Saints, I sent her on her way to move the furniture and stuff. And I sit down in my, in the pulpit, preparing to preach. And my brothers and sisters, if the Lord ever spoke to me, he spoke to me that morning. And he said, if you praise me, I'll heal him. Oh, yeah. So of course I asked the question, Lord, what did you say? He said, if you praise me, I'll heal him. I got up never preached. I told the saints, yes, sir. 
what the Lord had told me. And about 12 of us, out of the Ashik Kobahaya, went forth in the praise unto God. Let me tell you, our God is real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, we praised God so until I got home and I was physically tired. I laid down on my bed at 4.45. At 5.25, my phone rung and her name came up and the devil said, Oh, he's gone. But she says to me, Dad. I said, yes. She said, my son is awake and talking to me. All right. Hallelujah. I just want to tell you, he's a real God. And he answered. He answered. He answered, thank you, God. Ah, you see, some of us don't believe until we see. Thomas didn't believe until he touched Jesus. So I thought I'd invite him to come so you can see what God can do. Thank you, God. Ah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take your seats, take your seat, because I, I got to rush. I, uh, I, I need a timekeeper. Would you help me? Would you help me, Deacon? Deacon Ford, would you help me? Would you help me? Thank you, Lord. Please be seated. But I want to read the word, have the word read to you tonight. Thank you, God. Luke chapter 7. Luke chapter 7. The first 15 verses of that book. Read the Bible. Now when he had ended all his sayings mm -hmm. in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum, and a certain centurion servant, yes. who was dear unto him, was Thank sick and ready to die. Uh -huh. And when he heard of Jesus, yes. he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, uh -huh. beseeching him yes. that he would come and heal his servant. Yes. And when they were came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, mm -hmm. saying that he was worthy of whom he should do this. For he loveth our nation. Yes. And he has built us a synagogue. Uh -huh. Then Jesus went with them. Yes. And when he was now not far from the house, yes. the centurion sent friends to him, mm -hmm. saying unto him, Lord, Lord. trouble not thyself. Yes. For I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee. Close. But say in a word. word. Say in a word. And my servant shall be healed. My God. For I also am a man under authority. Yes. Having under me soldiers. Uh -huh. And I say unto one, go. Go. And he goeth. He goeth. To another come. Come. And he cometh. Yes. To my servant do this. And he yes. doth it. Uh -huh. When Jesus heard these things, uh -huh. he marveled at him. He marveled at him. And turned him about. Yes. And said unto the people that followed him, mm -hmm. I say unto you, I have not found so, so great greater. faith. No, not, not in Israel. Not even in the church. Read the book. And they that were sent returning mm -hmm. to the house uh -huh. found the servant whole oh. that had been sick. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass the day after uh -huh. 
that he went into a city called Nain. Mm. And many of his disciples went with him. Yes. And much people. Mm. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, mm -hmm. behold, there was a dead man, man a dead. carried out. Yes. The only son of his mother. My God. And she was a widow. Uh -huh. And much people of the city was with her. Yes. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her. Yes. And said unto her, Weep not. Weep not. And he came and touched the bride. And they that bare him stood Just still. Here. Yes. And he said, Young man, mm -hmm. I say and unto I thee, Arise. Rise. And he that was dead sat up uh -huh. and began to speak. And began to speak. And he delivered him to his mother. My God. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us. Thank you. And that God has visited his people. Verse 16. Would you turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor? Say, say a word. Listen. This story, if I just put it in layman term, is dealing with a person who is a sinner, the centurion, but heard about Jesus and was moved with compassion toward his servant who had built them a church. And so he felt like it was, he was deserving to live. So he sent word to Jesus. And Jesus says, I'm going home with them and heal the man's servant. Well, the man, when Jesus got close, the man said, no, said, uh, my house ain't clean enough for you to come in. And I thought to myself, not be worthy to come ask you myself. He said, but just speak the word and my servant will live. Hallelujah. What a word. Jesus marveled at the man's faith that just said, if you say it, it'll be done. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, if Jesus says it, it'll be done. Why would you say that, brother Pichai? Because then when I look at the book of Hebrews, Hebrew says that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I'm gonna fast forward, but verse six says it's impossible That's right. to please God without faith. Oh my God, let me help you. But listen, then he moves to the fact that he raises the woman's son from death. The Bible said, they that carried him stood still, and he just touched it. And the young man stood up and lived. Yes, yes, Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I want some of that faith. Listen what he says. Then, of course, we look again then into John. I'm going to get y'all there in a minute. Come on, sir. John says it like this. John chapter 11. Verse 35 is at the scene where Lazarus is dead. Yes. And the Bible said, Jesus wept. Yes, sir. And after he had wept, oh, the Sarah said, oh, how he loved him. His sisters came and said, well, if you had been here, uh -huh. my brother wouldn't have yes. died. Jesus, in short terms, rebukes her and said, don't say that. He said, but show me where you lay. And he goes to the grave site and looks up and says, Father, you've always heard me. But just for these, 
that are here, yeah. I want to just say to you. And when he had turned to his father, he then turns to the grave and says, Lazarus, come forth. The Bible said the dead man got up and come walking out of the grave. Hallelujah. Still bound with the grave clothes, but Jesus says, loose the man and let him go. Can I divert just a moment and tell you, you need to learn to believe God and put away all of your doubts and your excuses of why it happened to me. Because he's able to do anything but fail. I got you there now, so let me just tell you this one. Isaiah says, 53, 4, and 5. I want to read you this one. You mark it in your Bible so you know it. You can always turn to it. Isaiah 53, 4, and 5. Thank you, God. Read it, sister. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53 and 4. Hallelujah. 53, 4 and 5. I'll, I'll read it. Okay. Surely, Surely, he has borne our griefs. He's borne our grief. And carried our sorrows. And carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Stricken. Uh huh. Smitten of God. Smitten of God. And afflicted. And afflicted. He was wounded for our transgression. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. What did he say? With his stripes we are healed. Listen, I want to take about three more minutes. But while I take these three minutes to tell you another scripture I need you to hear, I want you to make it up in your mind that you're going to run here in the next five minutes. I'm going to be done. But God is going to bless you because an exercise of your faith in him. I just want to tell you, don't say Davis did nothing. I don't have the power or authority, but Christ does. Do you hear me? And he will do it for you. If you are in this building and you carry a pain, if you are in this building, you suffer from high blood pressure, if you are in this building and carry the, the, the disease of diabetes, I want you to get up on your seat and come here. I'm going to anoint three elders. Can I get three elders? Can I get three elders? I'm going to anoint three elders and they're going to be here to anoint you and God going to do the work. Why you say it like that, preacher? Prove it to me. Listen what the word said. Ah, uh, y'all got your Bibles yet? Go to James chapter 5. And let me just start at verse 13. Hallelujah. Is it what he said? Hallelujah. Is any if is any among you afflicted? Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Let him pray. Is any merry? If any is happy, merry. Let him sing songs. Let him sing songs. Is any sick among you? If any sick among you. Let him call for the elders of the church. Let him call for who? For the elders of the for church. For the elders of the church. And let them pray over him. Let them pray over you. Anointing him with oil. Doing what to you? Anointing, Anointing you with oil. Uh -huh. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith. And the prayer of faith. Shall save the sick. Shall save who? 
the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed sins. And if you've done wrong. They shall be forgiven him. You see, the devil likes to point a finger at us and tell us all the wrong stuff we do. Can I tell you, Jesus called 12 and one of them was a devil, but he empowered him to go cast out devils. Read your Bible. Huh? Sometimes we look at each other and we say, but he ain't living right. He did this or she done that. But they're not Jesus. Do you hear me? You have to believe his word. His word is true. Do you hear me? And his word will work every time. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. I'm going to quit right there because I got Patterson following me. Hallelujah. I want to anoint you. And if you're in this building, you're in this building. Hallelujah. Uh, listen, I'm going to pray for all of them. Remember I told you what you do? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, you, you should be moving this way because I'm going to take my seat. Give me your hands. I want to anoint your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah, the most. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I believe Come to God these can do anything. Anoint them. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing is Thank you. Oh, Lord, I, I believe God. He can do anything. anything. Brother Bishop, anything, anything. I've asked the administrative assistant anything. to place his hand over your anything, right eye. Anything, anything. That's the one that you're having trouble he with, isn't it? Yes, sir. Anything. That's one. I want him to put his hand on your eye. How you say? I'm on the other side. Lord, you are a healer, a great deliverer. On the other Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Bless your name. My God, my God. I count it done. Now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I believe God. He can do anything. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. blessed are your shame for the strength of God. Power you have about shit, over high. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. Rebuke every pain, every discomfort. Heal every little yeah. bow shot tie. I'm on the little bow, say go. Glory. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's done. I'm the yellow bow, say. Jesus said that. Give me a move. I got in a motion. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wow. 
By the stripes go. night forward yes, in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus yes. Christ of Nazareth yes. Travis you shall be saved <laughs> the devil will not have you yes. but you shall be saved oh, all at the name of Jesus. Jesus lift your hands and give him praise on tonight have your seats will you hear our choir for just a few minutes they traveled with us on tonight we have enjoyed the word of God the preached word from superintendent Robert Davis come on let's bless the Lord for the word of God tonight God is great and greatly to be praised come on choir Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, come on, give God some praise as you come with great God, amen.
Come on and give your great God a hand praise if you serve a great God. Hallelujah. We honor the Lord tonight in his presence that is in this place. We are grateful. We are grateful. We're grateful again to be in the house of the Lord. Just one more time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. We are grateful to be in the house of the Lord. You all may have your seats, but let's pray. Father, we thank you again for this opportunity to worship with your people. Father, we pray now that you would allow this word to touch hearts afresh. Father, break up every fallow ground. We thank you and believe you, Father, because your word is true. We thank you now because it's already done. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. It is so in Jesus' name, amen. Clap your hands if you believe we serve a great God. We honor the Lord. We honor our prelate, Bishop Shelton Craig Rhodes, prelate of the Texas Southwest Second Jurisdiction. I am just honored that he would allow us to speak before himself and God's people to Administrative Assistant Johnson. Our pastor, yes, you can celebrate them. Pastors and elders, Chairman Joseph Johnson. Finance Chairman, Man of God Evangelist, Superintendent Robert Davis, Superintendent Irvin, Jurisdictional Secretary Elder Watford. Can I just say to all of the superintendents, the pastors, all of the elders and ministers, we are just thankful to be in the house of the Lord one more time. To our sainted mother, Yolanda Ford, we love you. We thank God for you and believe God is doing great things through the woman of God. Hallelujah. To our first lady of the jurisdiction, Lady Rhodes, we praise God for you. To my amazing wife, Lady Lisa Patterson. Praise God for her. I miss Mother Ford's assistance. Uh, Missionary Taylor, Missionary Williams, God bless you. Praise God for you. I want to recognize the pastors that came with us from the LaGrange District. If they will, just stand and let them, let them see you. Pastor Barnes over there, Pastor Curry, Pastor Martin, who was with us. Minister Nathaniel Martin, I think he's back there. Some of the others were with us. Missionary Gloria Barnes, you know her. She's one of the voices here. Let him see you, Missionary Barnes, back there. To our district missionary, Missionary Marlene Martin. Stand and let him see you, district missionary. A minister of music behind me in the choir that's singing on tonight. Amen. We are ready to go into the word of God on tonight. Amen. If you will go with me to Matthew, the 15th chapter, to all of God's children, we are glad to be in the house with you on tonight. To all of those who are viewing us out in Facebook, wherever you may be, YouTube, we thank you for joining us tonight. May God bless you richly through the word of God. Matthew 15 and the 21st verse. It may be your tradition, but we stand in honor and reverence of the word of God. Matthew 15 and 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thy son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto 
the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. And she said, truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of crumbs which fall from the master's table. Last verse, then Jesus answered and said unto her, Woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. I want to look back at verse 25. And I want to draw a text from there. Then came she and worshiped him. Somebody mentioned worship earlier. Somebody mentioned worship earlier. She came and worshiped him saying, Lord, help me. Well, can you just say it with me? Help is on the way. Or just put it in the atmosphere. Just shout it out and say, help is on the way. Those of you that are viewing us by telecast, put it in the put it in the chat. Help is on the way. Now I need you to just look at somebody and tell them that my help is on the way. You may have your seats. I don't think you really hurt me. I want to tell somebody tonight that my help. Some of you have been waiting on a miracle. Somebody been waiting on a blessing. But can I tell you that my help is on the way. Stop your complaining. Stop your gossiping and begin to worship him. Something begins to happen when we worship him. Can I tell somebody tonight, if you really want to be healed, you ought to begin to worship him. If you really want to be delivered, you ought to just begin to worship him. We're depending on too many folks to render our deliverance. The Bible says that when she began to put down all the other stuff and worship him, things begin to change. Can you just tell somebody close to you, if you want something to change, start worshiping him. Talk to him, talk to him. Ah, y'all sit down, I gotta talk just for a minute. I gotta make it plain. I found out that the answer to the problem wasn't trying to get the perfect setup. What do I mean by the perfect setup? Many of us are trying to find the perfect way to set up our services. You know, we went through the pandemic. Can I talk to us for a minute? The pandemic spoiled a whole lot of church going, sanctified, supposed to be Holy Ghost filled folks. After the pandemic, it was hard pressed to get the saints to come back and to go on their knees in prayer. You heard me say it before, if we can be all in the malls and in H-E-B, it shouldn't be a problem for us to come together and worship the true and the living Savior. Why? Because he's worthy. I don't know 
what happens to you when you go in the store, but when I go in the store, I'm still bumping folks. And if I go in the store with my mask on, people look at me like I'm crazy. They look at me like I'm the weird one. Because I chose to protect myself and protect you. But if we can learn how to put down all of our whatever we are charged with and begin to worship, we'll see the things and the glory of God come back into our services. Come on and just holler at somebody and tell them, my help, my help, my help, my help is on the way. I was sick. I've told you about it, so we won't do that again. I couldn't help myself. And I began to just give in to the fact that I was going to die. That's the way the enemy will come up on you and trick you. He wants to make us believe that there is no hope. But I hear the saints of old, they would say, my hope is in the Lord. They didn't put their hope in nobody else. They said, my hope is in the Lord. So, pastors, I had to begin to start thinking about life, trying to figure out where to from here. I thank God for a praying wife. My mother's gone on to glory, but my mother prayed for me. And can I just help you all? You don't understand the power of praying saints. It's good when you can pray by yourself. You should pray by yourself. But when we come together, when we come into the sanctuary that has been hollowed out, when we come together and we start saying, Jesus, when we all get on one accord and we just start saying, Jesus, you ought to just try and just say, Jesus. Something begins to happen when you call on the name of Jesus. There is power. I don't think y'all believe it. There is power. Anybody out here believe it? There is power. Anybody over here believe it? There is power. When we get together, y'all let me talk about this. Let me talk about this. I got to make it plain. Jesus, at the beginning of her appeal, Jesus listened or heard a cry, but he did not answer. Many times, I don't know how many of you have been there, but Jesus won't answer your cry. She cried. Can I tell you, some of us are still crying some of us are still whining. And we have everything that we need to enjoy life. I don't know about you, but I prayed and I've cried. I've sought the Lord still. And still it seemed like 
there was some form of a blockage between me and heaven. Seemed like I couldn't get my prayers answered. I couldn't get, I couldn't, I couldn't hear the Lord speak to me. Many times, believers, the Lord is teaching us how to trust him. Can I talk to us? Many of us, we say that we trust God, but we trust him as long as things are going well. We trust him when the paycheck is good. We trust him when the house note, the car note is paid, when the children are acting right, when the church is moving well. We trust him only for those things. But can you trust him during the tough times? Can I go back to when I was sick? I had to wake up and stop whining. Poe is me. I don't know what didn't happen. I got attacked. I was mad at my family. That's my wife and my son. Bishop, they wasn't helping me as fast as I wanted them to help me. She said I was a horrible patient. You're probably right. And so I had to stop whining. I was confined to a chair. That's okay. Because if you really want to be healed, the Bible says that he told the man that was sitting there, he told him, if you really want to be healed, you need to pick up your bed. Pick up your stuff. Stop talking about what happened yesterday. Stop crying about what happened last week. Get yourself together. I still could open my mouth and I begin to say, Lord, help me. I begin to say, Lord, I need your help right now tell you, when I began to tell him to help me, I felt strength in my body. So you don't know what it means when you begin to call on the name of Jesus. There's power in his name. And guess what? He began to strengthen my body. Before I knew it, I was getting up out of the chair. Before I knew it, I was on my way to church. Can I tell all of you something? All the time that I was sick, I never missed a Sunday going to church. I never found an excuse not to go to church. I never said I'm tired today. I never said I'm sick today, but I kept on. So I want to encourage you haven't been through half of this, but I want to encourage you today that help is on the way. The Lord spoke it to me. He said that our churches have suffered so much. Yes, all of the evident things are evident. But he told me to tell the saints that help is on the way. And if you believe that, he said that when we worship him, hallelujah, when we begin to stop looking at who's not doing and what's not happening and begin to, he said, if I be lifted up, he would draw all men. So I just need one somebody. 
just need 10 somebodies. I just need 20 somebodies that will begin to worship him. Can you just open up your mouth and begin to worship him? Tell him how much you appreciate him. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you thank him. Tell him how much you praise him. Your help. Your help. You have to believe it like it's already done. Don't allow doubt to fill your head. You have to believe it. My help is on the way. And can I tell you this? It's really closer than what you think. Solely depends on your worship. You can open your heart, open your mouth, and worship him. The Bible says that they that worship him must, as y'all said with me, say must, worship him in spirit and in truth. And when you begin to worship him, I want to tell you that he's going to fill you brand new. Can I tell you when you begin to worship him, you won't have to worry about tomorrow. When you begin to worship him, he'll make all things brand new in your life. Can I hear you say worship is what I do? Can I hear you say worship? I want to encourage you. Help is on the way. God said it. I believe it. I feel victory. But if you will, just right where you are, just lift your hands. My help is in the name of the Lord. My help is in the name of the Lord. For the Lord, our God, is mighty. My help is in the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your word that gives clarity. Your word speaks to us that when we worship, we create an atmosphere for you to come in and fill all of those empty spaces. Touch my brother, touch my sister. In the name of Jesus, it is so. And we thank you in advance. Somebody tell him thank you. We thank you in advance. Somebody get excited and tell him we thank you for what you're going to do in the lives of your people. I believe it, and it is so that your help is for your people. The woman asked for help because she dared to go against all odds. The Bible said great was her faith. Immediately, her situation was healed. Father, we thank you for healing tonight. We thank you for deliverance tonight. We even thank you for breakthrough. We count it done in the precious name of Jesus. And if you believe it, just give God a praise. Come on right where you are, give him a praise.
thank God for the word on tonight. Saints, let's not leave. Let's not leave. Pray God. Listen, this, these two powerful men, God sent a word on tonight. You that are viewing by stream, you that are viewing, amen, by YouTube on tonight, God is for you. If you worship him, pray God, in spirit and in truth, amen, just say the word. Hallelujah, God sent his word and healed them. Put those hands together all over the house, all over the house. Thank you, Superintendent, amen, David, Superintendent Patterson. Let's thank God for these great men of God on tonight. We're getting ready to go. We're getting ready to go. I want to thank God for you, amen, these wonderful choirs, all that has gone forth on tonight. We want to thank God. We're going to be a blessing, amen, with a ministry gift, amen, uh, a, a blessing to the ministry on tonight. Praise God. These speakers, they, amen, shared with us the, amen, spiritual things of God. We want to share our carnal uh, with them on tonight. You can share, too, if you're there by stream amen listening on tonight you can share go to dollar sign txsw second amen ops amen txsw second texas southwest second ops i'm going to ask if minister if elder johnson will come and pray god's blessings upon this offertory worship we're going to do this we're getting ready to move amen go home just shortly amen Lord, we just come to say thank you, Lord. We just thank you for this time of giving. We just know that every good and perfect gift comes from you, God. So we ask you to see this, this what's received on tonight, God, that you turn it back to your people 36 and 100 fold. Just know you pray, man.